experiencing nature, a squirrel or a woodchuck, just making those observations can kind of spark the imagination. Great, great blue heron and the interest in learning more about it. <laughs> it started with my grandparents and just being outside with them all the time. We grew up down south and we spent all of our time outside. When you have children and urban youth that are growing up, they're looking for outlets to enjoy. This is a chance for them to really step out in their own backyard and connect with nature. The Tuxen Research Refuge is located halfway between Baltimore and Washington, so that gives us two large metropolitan areas to draw from. The majority of Americans might not have access to reach a national wildlife refuge or even know what that is. Wow. You can learn to enjoy nature right in your backyard. A lot of people already do, and so children are no exception. They got to participate in an oyster dissection, so they got to actually open an oyster and touch the outside and touch the inside and learn about the parts of the animal. Fish live around them. They can munch on the things that are in them. Got small. Oh, I can see it. The National Wildlife Refuge System is increasingly involved in teaching them to be stewards near their neighborhood where they can act locally and make a difference. Is everyone going to see at the top? Michelle here, if you look inside. They get super excited when they're out on the trail and they see a bird flying in the sky. So somebody ate him? Things they usually don't see in their day to day lives. I've never seen And then, whoa. It's, it's really fun because I've always had an interest in nature, but it's not something I ever knew how to teach. And with this little one, just um, getting bigger and more curious, coming here it was a great resource for me as a mom. People who grew up in this area, they're able to bring their children, bring their grandchildren, and really just be able to be proud of their neighborhood and their backyard again, and to be a part of something that's so meaningful. People have lost touch with being comfortable outside. It gets harder every year to actually feel comfortable sitting down in the grass and to almost be free. You don't have to see a beautiful sunset or a beautiful sunrise. There's beauty all over in nature. I mean, if you just develop an eye for it, you really start to appreciate the beauty that's there really 365 days a year.